It has been exactly 26 years since the writer, television producer, and environmental rights activist Ken Sarawiwa was executed by hanging alongside eight others in Port Harcourt in 1995 by the then military dictatorship of General Sani Abacha. But there has been growing concern about the Bill of Rights by the Ogunis, which borders on increased autonomy for the Ogoni people, a fair share of the proceeds of oil extraction and remediation of, of environmental damage to Ogoni land. And joining us to discuss this and others is an environmental rights activist, Celestine Akwabari. Good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, 26 years after the, um, the hanging of um, execution, painfully, of Kenesaro, we were, what would you say have changed, especially in the, the Niger Delta region? Well, nothing has changed. If any, if anything at all, things are becoming worse because since then, uh, several other areas that were not polluted, you know, are now devastated. Livelihoods have been lost as a result of this pollution. The government has never changed in the character of negligence of the environment. The corporations, the oil companies are even worse because they know that their time will be up soon. So they are doing everything humanly possible to take as much oil as they can without carrying out any routine checks. So if anything at all, it is worse. Mm. And people have been calling for justice in terms of um, um, the circumstances surrounding his death and eight others. Uh, but some people are saying, look, he should be pardoned. Some others are saying, look, he should be exonerated of all, all, all um, allegations. Uh, but some others say uh, government should apologize to the Niger Delta people. But for you as an environmental activist, and when you look at what he was fighting for, um, what does justice or what would justice mean in this regard? Yeah, as you can see, I was yeah, there is a procession ongoing in Portaco right now. I was with them and I had to step in to, to do this interview. We are already asking that they be exonerated because you only pardon one that committed an offense. Ken Sabu and those that were murdered with him did not commit any offense. So why the pardon? In nineteen ninety nine, when Nigeria returned to full blown democracy. Two issues were plaguing Nigeria, June 12th and the Ogoni issue. June 12th have been settled. In fact, recently, President Mohamed Bouari had to apologize to the Abiola family and Abiola given the highest award in the land. We want the same treatment extended to the Ogoni, if not more. We even want the Ogoni territory to be, to be declared, they should declare a state of emergency on infrastructural development, on scholarship, on every other thing they can do to better the life of the people. We only know about cancer who are eight others, but I can tell you that over 2,000 people were murdered in Ogoni land during this period of repression. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us. Environmental rights activist Celestine Akwabari.